It's a two mile four furlong at two mile four and a half furlong cappuccino handicap here. So a ma real marathon distance to travel uh, for this field of three. So it's Lucky Rebecca Martin Leadham, Riley of our deals, Thomas Rogers and Chapter Blend Ryan Costello. And they are off and running and Lucky Rebecca for Martin Leadham. It's gone to post no price at all. One to three expected to absolutely hose up here but this has got the potential to be a very tactical race and as you can see slow pace uh, but this real test of stamina you're going to expect them to go at a crawl to begin with but it's chapter blend ryan costello that has gone out into that early lead lucky rebecca just tracking that one in second riley of Ardiles, and uh, the back marker at the moment for thomas rogers uh, so very small feel for this cappuccino handicap and quite surprised it's a decent prize on offer here Chapter Blend has a good couple of length advantage over Lucky Rebecca, Riley of Ardiles. Yeah, but few, few horses, few marathon horses unable to get in uh, into this handicap given the relatively low top rating. Um, cut off point for these horses, so we make do with a field of three, and all three of these trainers have uh, ended their horse here looking to pick up. A nice easy victory in a in a really small field race but some horses just don't take well the small fields that prefer that hustle and bustle of a bigger pack to be in and amongst but one of them has going to have to go out and set that pace as well and so far it's looking likely to be chapter blend that is going to try and dictate this from the front as we now have one mile and six furlongs left to travel and it's chapter blend that's opened up a Quite significant advantage now for around six to seven lengths over Lucky Rebecca and I think the jockey on Lucky Rebecca's just taken note of that and just wants to make sure he doesn't let the advantage get any bigger than that and Riley of Ardiles out of uh, camera shot at the moment but I believe just a couple of lengths behind Lucky Rebecca last of the three so coming into the final 12 furlongs now and it is still chapter blend Lucky Rebecca now you can see pushed along for a few strides there um, wants to start eating into that leader's advantage and it has done so and responded pretty well the lead now down to just two to three lengths Riley of Ardiles uh, making sure it doesn't get tailed off towards the rear of the field has just closed up in behind lucky Rebecca but still a good seven to eight lengths plus behind the long time leader chapter blend nine and a half furlongs left to go now and still chapter blend that has the lead and ticking along nicely at the front traveling strongly over lucky rebecca riley of Ardiles has again dropped out of camera shot a uh, good six lengths plus now behind lucky rebecca i believe in third place um, with just over a mile to go it's still chapter blend traveling nicely at the front they're going to start swinging left-handed here inside the final mile here in the cappuccino handicap marathon two mile four and a half furlongs to go here a true test of stamina for these horses. It's still chapter blend. Martin Leadham's short price favourite here. Travelling really well in behind and is moving to within a couple of lengths now of chapter blend. Riley of Ardiles is no, I was just about to say nowhere to be seen, but you can just see that little white face just poking out now. And it's still travelling well enough. There's no distress signals being shown by the jockey, but I believe he's now started to get to work for a few strides and the response not exactly instant um, so chapter blend now being pushed along at the front lucky rebecca stalking it in second place this short price favorite odds on backers looking to fill their boots extend any winnings that they've had try and beat the bookmakers with their own profit or are they chasing losses for the day on this short price favorite chapter blend is now started to increase the advantage again and started to increase the tempo as well and lucky rebecca's being pushed along for a few strides there and there'll be a few hearts and mouths for a few strides there but now lucky rebecca starting to look like a real threat on the outside traveling super strongly in behind chapter blend into the final two furlongs riley of our dealers is desperately trying to stay on you can see the shadow of that one getting going and it is now starting to come riley of our dealers it looked like it was out the race with two and a half furlongs to go but as we hit the furlong marker we could be in for a tight finish here because chapter blend still has the lead over lucky rebecca riley of our dealers is getting closer all of the time has this ride been timed to perfection into the final half a furlong and we're coming towards the line it's lucky rebecca riley of our dealers on the outside 
Oh my gosh. I think lucky Rebecca has just managed to hold on, but not the way you would expect a short, uh, long odds on price to win. But the fans and race goes here have been treated to a thrilling finish in such a short field of three. Lucky Rebecca, one to five, just holds off the late challenger Riley of Ardiles. Ridden very patiently, stayed on really well for Thomas Rogers, but just held as they got to the line. And third was the longtime leader, Ryan Costello.